when I go to file a document or a doc. No, it's a document. It's a document. Okay. Do I put my stamp on that document? Yes. And you sign it, making you the postmaster and, and po postmaster, banker, and judge authorized to transport the vessel from the street into the vessel and dry dock. You send your you, before you walk into the courthouse to dock your vessel. You mail it registered mail to yourself. Your vessel has now been registered with the post office, which is controlled of the port authorities, which licensed the courthouse to dock its vessel on planet Earth. In the event that you are the postmaster now signing the, the stamp to carry the document into the courthouse. You are the post, the letter carrier and postmaster authorized to transport the vessel to the clerk's office and you can't be arrested as a letter carrier delivering the mail to the courthouse, even though it's a foreign vessel in dry dock because you're already the post office which controls the port authorities, which docks the vessel. So you have a higher authority. You're like the senior judge of the courthouse. Little did secrets. They, did they still stamp that document? Yes, and when they or stamp they it, they made that? contract. Absolutely, you, I sign every every federal district court stamp. I sign over the top of it, capturing. Well, I for it back and absolutely, it and you sign all yours and say they all have to be conformed. Give me that back. I'm going to sign my name over your stamp, and you sign your name too, clerk. And you usually have to have five copies. So do I send five? Copies? Actually, seven. They get two. You keep the rest five back. Okay, so. I mail seven copies to myself? And no, 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 just the one. Just the one. Just to get the serial number. That's all you want. It's a registered serial number. Okay. But then how do I have a copy or... or you keep the registered serial number. You're, you're going to mail it to yourself. You keep the envelope. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay? If you have one copy that's sealed inside there, it's always sealed inside there. If it ever comes to a... Gun, are you going to just go through all of the... Yes, yes. I'm going to go through all the procedures on it. Yes. Ah, all of them are stamped, and if you sign the others in front of her, they all have to be conformed. If her copy is not conformed, then she has an illegal copy. She doesn't have an original. If you sign across their stamp, you have the original. Nay, she has to repo she has to take possession of that. But she, she said, I cannot give you this document once I've stamped it. No, that's because they don't want you to be legal and become the chief judge of the courthouse in, so that you're in charge. You become the chief judge of the courthouse when you do that. So if they don't give it back, how do you respond? Well, I always get it back. I said, I'm, I'm the federal judge in this courthouse. I have my oath on file. You better give me that court back. This is under, under Title 15. Uh, which one is that? That's uh, Title 46, Section 9... 9 uh, I just tell them I'm the judge? 946. <laughs> well... I, I, I have a 17-year running position. Everybody knows me already. So how do I do that? Oh, you, if you sign, uh, as she hands you back the documents, you sign all of them. And if she knows what she's doing, she'll give you back their copy so they're all conformed. Right. So because when you say to her... And she doesn't give me hers, then she is... Illegal. Illegal. Right. You're saying, you know what? I have originals here signed. I says, now how are you going to explain to your boss that you don't have a signed original copy and you only have a, a, a half, half the, the, the position done? You didn't follow your, your duties. Wow. And that's what I'm wondering. Is the enforcement? Now, under Title 15, under Title 18, Section 641, folks, misappropriations. Oh, title 18, 641, misappropriations. That means you took a paycheck and you didn't do your job. That's misappropriation. For not doing your job, that's a ten-year, ten-thousand-dollar fine, a, a nine-thousand-dollar fine, and twelve years in prison under another another title site of the of the same it comes under uh, nine nine forty-six instead of nine forty-one. What was the title number? Title eighteen, six forty-one through six sixty-five is the mis misappropriations rules. You can pull it up on the internet, and and, and you know go through the whole thing. Yes. So does that mean when we took our for the, the mortgage fraud, the ones that we filed with the, with the district court in South Bend, when we gave them the copies to, to uh, file stamp them, we gave those to have them all file stamped and have the case, case number stamped on them? 
Correct. And then we took our back and they, they kept theirs. Correct. So was that correct? Or were we, did no, no, they have their two copies. You have your five. But in front of them, you sign or autograph. You autograph your name across their stamp. And when you autograph your name across their stamp, they have to give you back those two to autograph also. Otherwise, they're not in conformity. And that makes you in contract with that building, with, their, with that vessel being docked. And when she gives you a receipt for your money filing, you also sign that receipt. You sign your name across the registered mail sticker. You sign your name across the money sticker that's put on your registered mail. You sign your name across the stamp. Anything the post office gives you, you sign your name, across, autograph your name across it. Not sign, but autograph across that stamp. And if it ever comes to push and shove where you've got to walk into court going, I'm a federal judge, I'm a federal postmaster, I've signed my documents. I have the physical evidence in my possession that goes with this. This was docked at the post office before it was ported with the port authorities. The, the post office has jurisdiction over the port authorities. And so, therefore, you haven't filed protocols. In my lawsuits that I file with you as your mortgages, identify the clerk of the court on the 48th day as the federal judge of that lawsuit because she's required or he's required, the clerk of the court is required to autograph her name or his name on that stamp as the postmaster receiving a vessel in dry dock. That's protocol. If they skip over that procedure, they're guilty of misappropriations. They can go to jail for 12 years. And you can have the, when you download the laws on this, you take it in with them under misappropriations, and you present that to them saying, here, read this. See what this says? Now do exactly as I tell you. If you've got a problem, you get your supervisor. You've got a problem with that, you get the chief judge. You've got a problem with that, call John Roberts at the United States Supreme Court. You've got a federal judge here, chief federal judge, can call the United States Supreme Court John Roberts. You can call Hillary Clinton, Secretary of State. Now he's Bill's counsel. So I'm killing flies in windows, glass windows with 20 pound sledgehammers, and I'm not breaking the glass. And so they, they come to me and they're going, like, We're not going to obey this. We're not going to do this. I'm going, like, You want to go to jail for 12 years? Feel lucky today? <laughs> and he says, I'm the last man you want to go ahead and play games with. Right, but you can do it. Why? If you follow the procedures, you can do it too. It's all about conviction. It's all about being cool and collective. Of course, I have an advantage of you guys because I don't have adrenal glands, so I don't have the jack high, jack low. <laughs> Me, I'm just, I'm just data. I'm, 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 I'm a Spock. <laughs> Since Star Trek came out, everyone's called me Data and Spock. Yes. On your autograph, is it printed or is it can cursive be? No, no, no. I'll always print it. Print it. Okay. Yes. When I did that in school, they cracked my knuckles and said, you will not write that way. We're going to force you to be in fiction. <laughs>